Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video on Miami Electric Board's ESCs. Now in front of me, I have two ESCs. I have our twin motor ESC already hooked up to a build, and I have our single motor ESCs. Now, both of these ESCs are very compact, which fit great on a longboard. All our ESCs feature an anti-spark wire which will allow you to safety con safely connect your positive and negative without a big spark. All you have to do is solder this wire alongside your negative wire and connect it first. They also all feature our heat sink to keep your ESCs cool while riding. They all have low voltage protection or a low voltage cutoff to protect your batteries from over discharging and they have regenerative braking and cruising so right here I'll show you we have our power switch connected let me get this out of the way and I also have an LCD screen so for the power switch to turn on it needs to be receiving some sort of power when I were to turn it on you see the LED turns on because it is getting power from the batteries when I turn it off that light will fade away now with the regenerative cruising on these ESC's simply by spinning the wheels you'll see it already starts giving power back to your batteries right now the led is turning on because it is receiving power from the escs if i were to stop spinning you'll see it fades away if the esc were on and you were engaged in the brakes it would have the regenerative braking giving you much more power back to your batteries Now, our 8S ESCs have a built-in beck, which allow you to connect the receiver without having to connect any additional power source to it. You can see here, it's just one receiver cable going up to the receiver. When I power it on, it powers on my receiver as well. If you were to get our 12S ESCs, they do not have a built-in BEC, and we will be selling our new dual output BEC, which features two outputs, one for your receiver and one for an accessory. So once I connect my receiver and turn on my batteries, you'll see that with just one cable, one ESC, two outputs, it will spin both motors. Now these are hub motors, which have the motor built into the wheel. Our ESCs work great with either hub motors or satellite motors. I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. I'm gonna swap over to our satellite motors. All right, so very quickly, I have connected our satellite motors. Same ESC, same remote, same receiver, same everything just different motors you'll see connects instantly and it's already ready to spin again our ESC's have braking and reverse some troubleshooting issues that may come from your ESC 
will be one motor spinning the opposite way or both motors spinning the opposite way. I'm going to go ahead and swap around our cable so you can see. That this happens, you can see our motors right there. spinning the opposite way. To fix that, all you have to do is simply swap around two wires. It does not matter which wires you swap around. Just pick any two and swap those two around. And if that doesn't fix it, pick another two, swap those around. You'll see now both motors are spinning the right way. Another issue would be with your receiver connection. Sometimes you can connect this backwards. It happens. I'll show you what that looks like. So, connecting the receiver backwards is making my motors go crazy. And you can see on the remote, nothing happens. Again, that just happens because the receiver is connected backwards. So swap that around. And that fixes the issue. I'll also show you that these satellite motors will create regenerative power as well. So by just spinning the motor, gives power back to the battery. All right, so now we're gonna move on to programming the ESC.